Good morning. Uh, this is Nick with Dragonfly Creative, and today we are going to be doing some bodice manipulation. Now, this is a continuation of the drinking series from last time. Last time we did a bodice front and back drape them on the dress form. And then today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you could do some manipulations of those patterns and either create new patterns or um, how to move darts around to get them in a place that you want or just to get rid of them completely. Um, and that's about it. But, um, and you'll pardon me if I go into coffee and fit, I've got a cold. Don't feel great, but we'll, we'll get this done. Okay, so this is the, this is the pattern from last time. And so there's the front bodice, okay? And then our back bodice is right here. And now what I've done, is today I am using what is called half scale. So I have got a front bodice and a back bodice in half scale. And I am working right now on turning these. These are someone else's. And I'm working right now with the printer next door, um, turn these into half scale patterns. So I will have these up in PDF form on the subscription site for you all to download and play with, okay? I am going to be doing that with all of the patterns that we're doing in this whole draping series. So you can see that on this pattern, this looks like our regular back bodice. This one looks a little different than our other front bodice. And that's because it has a side dart rather than a shoulder dart. And that side dart has been moved. And one of the things that we're going to be doing today is showing you how to move those darts while maintaining the basic fullness of the pattern or the, uh, the dart uptake. And then also, you can move them wherever you want. So this time I want to move this dart up to, I want to move this dart up to here, which is the center shoulder, okay? And how I found that center shoulder is I could have measured it, but what I did is I just folded it in half and creased it. And I do that on large patterns too, if I need to find the halfway point. So what we're gonna do first is we're going to outline the pattern and we are going to go from here up at the, we're gonna start at the place where we want our new dart to be, go down around and I'm just tracing around the edges and then we're going to come down here to this first dart leg, okay? Then I'm going to put my pencil right here on the dart point, and I'm going to transfer. I'm going to move that bodice. So see, all I did was just pivot that bodice around, okay? And what's happening now is that mark that I made at the top of the dart here, I have now pulled the bottom part of the dart up to match it. And what has happened is that in this scent, it essentially has closed up this dart or this space. And then when we trace all the rest of the way around, it will put this dart in place. Okay. So I'm going to go all the way around. And if this seems like it's confusing, if it doesn't make sense to you, just wait a second, it will. Okay, and you wanna make sure and mark in the dart legs. Okay. And then I'm just gonna mark off my right angles because we know that center 
front is a straight line. And then I am going to trace along the top right here, where from the center of the shoulder that we marked over to the corner. And then when I take that off, we're going to have, let me see if I can get this any better. Is I'm going to take my ruler now. And I am going to connect that front line, the center, the center front. Okay. And then we already have the side connected. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and just straighten that out. Okay. And that's where our old dart was. Okay. And then our new dart is right here. Whoops. I forgot. I forgot to mark my, I'm going to put this back and line everything up. I forgot to mark my bodice uh, center point. There we go. And so my bodice center point is right here. And so like we did last time in this first one, the first dart leg, we're gonna draw down and then we're gonna draw it back up, okay? Then we're going to back off. Now these, these darts are backed off about five eighths of an inch. So that means an inch and a half in real life, okay? Um, so we're gonna back this off five eighths of an inch, okay? Which is right about here, okay? And the center point of that dart is there. And so we're going to go ahead and redraw the backed off dart. Now you all remember why we backed those darts off is because the dark point does not ever go all the way to the bus point. Otherwise you would end up with the Madonna boobs. Okay. And then what you've got here is you now have your um, dart at the bottom and you can just go ahead and mark that one in right away with the point. Okay. And that one is right there. We don't have to back that off because it's already been backed off. Oh. And see, so what we have now is we now have, it's the same bodice, but what we've done is we've taken this and transferred it up to here into the shoulder. Now we can do this with any of the darts in the bodice. So I'm going to show you a couple more variations on this. Just to put the darts somewhere else. Now if you wanted everything to go into a side dart, then you would go ahead and decide that you wanted the side dart, okay? And then you're going to go ahead and trace all the way around. And you trace around from one leg of the dart, from the outside leg of the dart until you get to the outside leg of the other dart. Okay, there's my right angle for my center front. And now 
we're coming over here and here's my outside dart leg. So I went from the outside dart leg here all the way around until I hit the outside of my dart leg here. Okay, so now that's lined up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my pencil in the center like we did last time and I'm going to scoochie this over so that this dart leg, so this dart is coming over to meet this one. And so what we've done is we've just effectively closed that dart up, okay? So we just keep tracing. Once we close that dart up, come around. And then when we get to the bottom of the dart, okay, the place across from where we started, and then we want to go ahead and mark, okay, I'll mark the bus point, I'll mark the point of the dart, okay? And so when we have it here, the point of that dart is going to be here. Okay. And then it moves down that way. So we'll just do one right in the center. Okay. Because when we move the actual dart around, the point is going to move because it's not dead center. Okay, so then all we have to do is take our ruler, connect that, and now we have a large side dart and no bottom dart. Okay. Now for you ladies who are busty, this one might actually be a good, a good uh, place to start with a side dart. Um, but let's show you what if you want to put the dart somewhere that isn't even on here, okay? Say we want to do a French dart and the French dart would be coming from basically the center down to about here, okay? And the French dart is a long dart that's really on the bias, so it just sort of forms into the body, forms into that curve, okay? Thank you for watching this Dragonfly Creative webinar. If you'd like to get full access to this tutorial, along with our full library of previous and upcoming webinars, check out my club, A Place to Create, at dragonflycreative.art.